Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, go down and click subscribe. If you're a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about today is, did Ubiquiti get their hand caught in the cookie jar? Did consumer backlash and complaints cause them to reverse course? I don't know. Let's talk about that. Um... Let's go over to the computer and look at this Unified Network Controller 6.0.45. So if you're following this whole thing on Twitter and maybe Instagram, but mostly Twitter, uh, Riley Chase over at Hostify kind of came to the defense of Ubiquity and said that he thinks that them removing multi-site in the cloud key on that .43 release was a bug. And I don't, I don't agree with him, and I don't, I don't believe that. And the reason I don't believe that is because as of, uh, what's today? So this is uh, January 27th, 2021. Under the improvements on this 6.0.45, under the improvements, they added a multi-site management toggle. And then there's an asterisk, and then they say down here, not available for UDM Base and UDM Pro. So what that says to me is it is not a bug because it does not show up under the bug fixes. If it was a bug fix, it would say, you know, re-added, you know, missing multi-site option. No, instead it is an improvement, improvement to add the multi-site management toggle. So um, what is this? Maybe it's a temporary compromise. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, they did add some other things in the improvements. Um, there are still some things that even on the latest release that I'm questioning, and, and I'm going to have to go back and look and see when or where or if it was different, but for some reason I don't remember when I connect to a site and there's a thousand clients that all thousand clients were on one page and I had no effective way to search those. Um, and then I also can't see easily which switch port a client is connected to. So there's just some other changes. I'll leave a link to this, but are they backpedaling or is this just a temporary, let's stop the complaining and all of that. Now, if you are running many, many sites, you probably should not be doing that on a cloud key. In that case, either host it yourself, um, you know, with your own cloud-based controller or host it over at Hostify, Controllerific, you know, there's a few places like that. But um, I'll leave uh, a link, you know, my affiliate link to Hostify. Like I said, I don't take a draw off that. I just reinvest it to help people. Uh, who are are having maybe some financial issues at this time but need that controller. Um, yeah, what do you think about this? I think that this was a very quick move because the outrage started and then boom, we immediately had a beta, almost immediately, and now we've moved to a final release that adds this new feature um, that is clearly not a bug fix because if it was a bug fix, it would be listed under bug fix. At least that's how my mind works. But let me know what you think. Uh, alternatives are still coming. Still working on some QNAP and Synology videos as well. But I wanted to throw this out there and get the opinion of everyone out there watching. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form. If you want to support the channel by using our affiliate links, they are below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.